Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you guys how to enable emoji characters on your iOS device. This is running iOS 7, um, like you can see here, iOS 7, white keyboard. But um, there is emoji um, characters that can be added as well, just like before. This is not uh, new steps, but I'm surprised the amount of people that um, still don't know about this little trick that you can actually do here. So let me show you guys how to do it. Okay, so this is how the normal keyboard looks. Uh, like you see over here, by default, you're not gonna see a little button over here that's for the emoji or international keyboards. So to enable that, we have to go to settings, right here, go to the settings app, go to general. When you go to general, go all the way down in the bottom. When you go here to the bottom, it says keyboards. Go to keyboards right here. And right here, you got English, or if you live in other country, it might say check or Chinese, whatever. Then right here you got add new keyboard. So right here, from right here, we're gonna go ahead and go alphabetically order. It says emoji, click emoji, and that's it. You're done with the adding emoji to the keyboard. But um, you can also add, keep adding more languages as well. If you, have, if you um, speak like Chinese or communicate with Chinese, uh, you can do that as well. And you can keep on adding more uh, keyboards it doesn't matter how many keyboards you have I don't think there is a limit so now that you've done that you could go ahead and finish we we'll go back to the um, keyboard area over here and like you see now magically a little button over here appears uh, it looks like a little globe so when you tap on it boom automatically takes you to the emoji and what's great here it has lots lots and lots of character now this is iOS 7 so I don't really know if they added more characters but if they did uh, it should be a lot because this uh, by default back then it had lots of, of emoji and if they did add so it's a good welcome and that's it over here when, uh, once you keep on using like emojis over here if you keep on using emojis let's say and over here you got a history button this section right here will always remember the the most frequently used or more recently used uh, emojis that way when you open your um, your keyboard you will automatically go here if you go here you will automatically see the uh, recent uh, emojis because a lot of people use the same emojis over and over again um, another thing is since we added um, Chinese like you see right here um, I could go ahead and type in Chinese too I am um, since I chose um handwriting Chinese I could go ahead and start typing I don't really know how to do Chinese so uh, excuse me guys but like you can see you could type you could write whatever and it will auto predict whatever Chinese you're trying to write. I, I hope I'm not writing anything offensive here, but um, this is so you guys can see that you can actually write in Chinese. And over here, of course, you got the space bar. Everything is written in Chinese. You tap back again. You tap back again. It takes you back to the English keyboard. Another cool thing is that you can also tap and hold and now you got uh, you could from here you could go ahead and choose go straight to emoji or tap and hold because well, um, this is a good idea because of uh, if you have lots of keyboards um, it's gonna be a pain tapping and tapping and tapping until you reach your keyboard that you want to but from right here tap and hold and go ahead and release where you want to go whatever keyboard you want to go very good very easily and that's it so everything else basically stayed the same there's nothing very different in ios 7 here in the keyboard everything is the same so i hope this um tip actually helped you guys like i said this is not a new thing for ios keyboards but some people still are you know some people are new to ios and this is a good tip for them so i hope you guys like the video till next time